What is up, baby geniuses? It's your boy Shaheener, and I'm back at it again with another video. I'm just going to show you guys how I organize my bulk in my card collection, my TCG collection. This is something that a few friends asked me to do, or at least they wanted me to stream it, but it takes way too long. And also there's just so many cards and I'm like hyper focused and I'll show you the whole process. But before I get started, you know, I got to crack a cold one for the boys. Shout out to my monster cracking boys. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, so one of the big reasons why I don't stream my card organizing stuff is because when I have it all set up, I set it up on my bed. I have a whole setup. <laughs> it's total mess, or it looks like a mess right now and is actually a lot worse. Basically, each stack of cards it's way too many there's at least like 200 to 300 per stack and they got to go into all these so i'll explain that in a second so how i set it up so obviously my bulk cards are here on the left that i have to sort into these well nine elite trainer boxes and so these eight over here match the eight generations of Pokemon. I organize everything by national dex number, which is really stupid and time consuming. And all right there, there, not my air purifier, that one, that is for all my energies and trainer cards because they're, there's so many of them. I think I got to separate those even more too. I usually have an extra elite trainer box, like an extra one that I just throw the energies into, which I should probably set that up right now. Okay, so what I do from here is that I'll just grab a stack, not something that I can't hold in my hands, just like a sizable stack like this. And I will literally just go and sort them. Like, I mean, right now I'm not all too worried about how they're organized. I'm just sorting through them, just putting them into whatever generation box there is. So as you can tell, there's already cards in here. So I was working on this a little while ago, but I never finished it because there are way more cards that I was going to be opening. And yeah, I'm not really caring about the rhyme or reason or organizing them or the condition. I'm not really <laughs> paying attention too much. I just want to have these sorted and then I'll deal with everything else later on. But yeah, this is pretty much how I <laughs> organize my cards. Generally, I'll be a little more leaned in, but I don't want to ruin the shot right over here. So... Yeah, let's uh, film a little time lapse of me doing that. Yeah, so what I'm doing over here in this next step is that I'm taking the cards from the organized bulk and I'm setting them down on the tops of the divider boxes by their respective evolution lines so it'll be like like a type of pokemon a single evolution whatever it is And so what I'm doing over here is that since I had some cards previously organized, I am merging them with uh, previously organized cards. So right now I'm working on the Generation 5 cards, and since there's so many different evolution lines in that generation, I start working the first half, and then after I get all those cleared up and put away, then I'd start on the second half after that. And so from there, I grab the unorganized bulk cards, and started to place them on top of the organized ones so that way when everything's fully separated i could just clean them back up just organize them again and drop them into the divider boxes So now since the cards are put with their respective evolution lines, 
I just sort them, organize them, and put them back into the divider boxes. But these cards tend to try and fall over, so I have a little wedge inside of the divider box. It could be anything that fits in that spot, so it could be a Wii Remote, it could be a mini divider box, it could be a, like a remote control, just anything that helps me keep them from falling on top of each other and just ruining the order of things. So right here, I'm just giving you a closer look of how I separate them. Although you can only see it for a second because the time lapse is really quick. I thought I was giving myself enough time when I was actually filming it, but the time lapse definitely made it go a lot faster. So a lot of times when I am putting the cards away and organizing, I usually have music or a video or a podcast going on in the background that I could pay attention to while I'm working on these mundane tasks. So. Filming wasn't really the priority, I realized a lot of the stuff was out of focus or out of shot, and honestly, I was really the biggest concern for me. So, that is a condensed version of how I organize my bulk collection. So, it definitely goes on for a while to organize a card, sometimes it takes a whole day, two days, I'm still in the middle of working on it right now. But, yeah, thanks for watching. I have ideas for other videos for the channel. But if you guys have any suggestions of what I could do that's Pokemon related, then just let me know in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, then hit the like button and subscribe if you want, if you like what you saw. Until then, I'll see you next time.